Alrighty guys, I want to talk about Palantir as it's one of the most trending stocks. It's one of the most stocks that's been going up a lot, but you got to understand the big picture about Palantir. Look at the chart here. Obviously with the earnings, um, we went up here after it and we, we've been making some really great returns. You know, $55 we're at right now. And this thing was way back in 2023 of January at sitting around like $5. So, so, um, Obviously, we're not going to pay attention to that, but I, I want to show you guys, um, you know, like, yeah, congrats to the bulls that play this. Is there a long-term vision on this? Absolutely. Th this is extremely bullish, but I will say, if you're looking at the weekly chart, it is getting very ready for a correction. And these are the type of stocks that I do like to play puts on just to make, you know, a shorter term gain on it because stocks don't just go up and up and up and up and up. As you can see, we we move in ways, right? We go up, down, up, down, up and down. But when we make these big moves to this ATR4, this is kind of the pattern that I think is going to happen here. You see how we have this earnings, we go up, we hug this upper band here. And that's totally fine. You see how we hug it here? What I'm looking for is some TD which is time distance away from this purple band, which is the EMA5. Usually when you don't touch it in five daily candles for a bigger cap stock, it's long. So you have one, two, three, four, five in the touches on the sixth candle. And so what you can really get is from these highs to these lows, you can get about a nine, 10% drop. This is an 8% drop with options. You make pretty good money, but then it goes down even further. So we went from the highest and from here to here was a 12% drop. Would I have to hold it all the way through here? No, I would have sold it at the EMA5 because as you can see, this is where Algos wanted it. It hits here, gets a dead cat bounce, hits the 10, tries to come up, tries to go for the 20, but every time in price history, you will hit the EMA5, 10, and 20. As you can see, we hit the 20, we reclaim it, and then we start going down and down. So, um, and that's the kind of the same thing here. We hit here, we go up, and we go down. This is a very overextension territory. I had these settings to be very overextended, um, as you can see, we're way above the ATR4. And when I say ATR4, I use Keltner channels. They're kind of like Bollinger bands. And they they give me a very accurate signal because, um, you know, ATR stands for your average true range. That That is pretty much predicting how much a stock, you know, if they're out of their territory, right? And um, it's not like I'm using, I don't like RSI because it's, it's kind of like hard to predict, right? You, a stock can be oversold, over. Uh, overbought forever right with these ter these settings and the ema5 time distance along with a kdj i use under here i love this stochastic oscillator um anything in the 90 range i love the most for puts but yeah i'm keeping this on watch do i think it can go up more sure absolutely do i would i buy it here no because i've seen stocks go up here and then just plummet down or they plummet all the way down to the 20 you know nothing is for sure right anything can happen as you can see from this last thing we have this rally up here it gets close and then it plummets down and then you're on the mercy of the market gods do we resume this uptrend but i will say as long as you're above the ema 20 you are in a solid uptrend you can see right in here look at the trend channel um you had this massive channel here um it's clearly uptrending but um yeah if you do see that we are misproportionate we're, we're kind of getting out of this uh zone here as you can see we this was supposed to be resistance and we're breaking out of that so this will have to be a new channel and um so do keep that in mind i would not it's not like i'm, I'm it's more that i'm neutral I, I i could see a big correction happening but i wouldn't also short it at the moment and i'll show you guys guys like the best shorts i did um for tesla for example you see this kind of pattern here this is the kind of pattern i'm looking for pounds here so you see how you hit this upper band right one two three four five you do it multiple times you're hugging it and then this right here is the candle that i look for for when i'm buying puts you know i could show this multiple times of how successful i've done this as you can see, when you haven't hit the EMA5 in quite some time, you come back down to it. In this case, it went to the uh, the 10. And we could see this with one of the best companies in the world um, right in here. As you can see, you hit the upper band. We go down, upper band, go down with NVIDIA. And then as you can see, with this big range of not touching the EMA20, what does price tend to do? It plummets down. It scares everyone. But it's just a reversion to me. And that's really what I'm, I'm looking for with Palantir. Um, also, I want to see the IV because that is going to um, imply volatility is going to really determine if I would even want to buy these. But if I go to puts only, let's say I would do, I'd like to do at least round 
two months, three months, something like that. And if I go um, looking at these, you could see um, the imp implied volatility is about 50, 40%. So if I went out of the money some here, you can see, you know, 48%. It's not outrageous. So I, I do like to see that because anything that is like, um, you know, really high, like 100% implied volatility, that means you're buying too much on your options. It's not worth it. But yeah, give this one some time. Do we hug the band a couple days? Um, and then we would look for this re retracement to the EMA5. Now, it doesn't have to come um, bounce from here. It could just keep plummeting down. So you, you have to be wary. But this is definitely in an uptrend. And I, I could see it going higher, too. <laughs> so I would not be surprised. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very nice one. Keep this one in watch, guys. Um, this is if you guys like options, this is setting up for maybe a potential put play, but we'll see. And if you guys want to join the Discord, this is the chance to do it. Um, I'll post the links, um, the link down below in the YouTube comments and in the description. It'll say join the premium Discord for my alerts and system, and it'll take you to this free chat landing page when you do decide to join. And it'll be pinned in my YouTube comments, you can't miss it. And it doesn't mean you're a subscriber yet. What, what this means is, um, you, you can opt in to subscribe, and when you do subscribe, you have access to all these subscriptions tabs to the left. So do keep that in mind. So if you want to subscribe, um, all you have to do is head on over to the server shop or server subscriptions, and you can view the, the memberships that I offer. I offer two simple memberships while this is uh, loading up. I offer Swing Trading and Day and Swing Trading Plus. They are super affordable, super nice. Um, so long but yeah they're super portal super nice swing trading is only six bucks a month and you get access to something like this on trend reversals because that's essentially what we're looking for is trend reversals from the upside if we're hitting this upper band you know it's not just get in right away and puts we do a lot more analysis and we look for that reversion mean just like when palantir um ever hit gets close to this bottom band we look for the buy zone right so and that and that's really the nature of that so um, if you do decide to join, um, the easiest way to do is just hit um, day trade alerts right in here. And then that will access you to the highest membership. Um, I don't know why it's not. Let me try reloading my Discord. <clears throat> uh, it's not showing the server shop. But yeah, there should be two uh, memberships here. Swing, six bucks a month for swing trading. And then day and swing trading uh, plus is 12 bucks a month. So I um, hope you do, you do decide to join. I, I really wish you guys the best in trading. This is just my analysis on Palantir. It's um, just due for a correction, guys. I'm not saying I'm extremely bearish, but I am saying it is due for a correction. So uh, keep that in mind. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Give this video a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll post um, all my alerts in the Discord if you are joined and any new type of plays there uh, for the swing traders and day traders. Peace out and happy trading.